There is a crispness to the air, a pepperminty flavor wafting from my cup, and an abundance of double ads before every YouTube video. My friends, we are entering what is collectively known as the holiday season, and you, being a human who happens to know other humans, are in a unique position where you are expected to show your love and affection through the purchasing of goods and monetary items to be exchanged with others in a socially responsible manner. And seeing as the world is currently in the midst of a pandemic, things are obviously very different this year. And although you may still be giving gifts, you may be giving them virtually, doing some online shopping, and you may have people in your life that you're trying to give gifts to without offending, which let me tell you, can be hard. Because you see, by virtue of the fact that you happen to love skincare, you happen to want to turn and learn your ingredient labels and dive into the different formulations and benefits of ingredients in your products, your friends, family, and acquaintances might ask you quite a few skincare questions because they see you as somewhat of an authority in the space. And this is where power and responsibility meet. Because yes, with great power and great knowledge comes great responsibility. And you don't want to offend somebody by giving them an anti-blemish serum and basically telling them that they look like a pizza if that's not something that was on their wish list. And you certainly don't want to go recommending a specific product for someone to give to their partner and dearly beloved that says anti-wrinkle treatment without knowing better that's kind of insinuating that someone's face is saggy. So although we should recognize that even being in the position to receive or give a gift is something to be grateful for, today I want to take you through a non-offensive skincare gift guide for your acquaintances and that not-so-well-known relative who gets offended very easily, as well as the recommendations that others might ask you for on someone else's behalf. Speaking of that, however, you shouldn't have to spend $168 on a serum in order to make someone feel important. And that's why giving the right skincare gift that is non-offensive and preferably on sale or not overpriced is the best way to approach things. Which is also why I am grateful and filled with holiday cheer that ShopTagger is sponsoring a portion of today's video. They are kind of like a Pinterest meets credit card bonuses that lives as a browser extension on Google Chrome on your phone and on your computer. While you are searching through Sephora, through Ulta, through Derm Store for all of the things that your friends, family, acquaintances, and your own epidermis needs, you're able to tag specific items and save them to different wish lists. You tell ShopTagger to notify you when they go on sale, so when they have any price change or they're 25% off, you get notified and can save some money. I personally made a little list of holiday gift sets that I am thinking about purchasing for others when they go on sale, hopefully through some Black Friday offers. And I also made a little K-Beauty wish list, which to my surprise this morning actually notified me that some of my products were 8 to 30% off. And I mean, CauseRx pimple patches are already like under 10 bucks, but I mean, if I can save money and can get them for three instead of seven, you know that's something that I'm going to want to be notified about. It's easy to download as a browser extension on Google Chrome or on your phone, and you can sign up for email alerts or push notifications or both, depending on how you want to be notified when your skincare products go on sale. 2020, both from the pandemic and social distancing to new technology, is really putting Santa out of business. Maybe he's quarantining this year. Maybe that's good. He and Mrs. Claus shouldn't be out. I think they're in the high-risk population. You can organize things into multiple wish lists, such as skincare versus makeup versus gifts for others and gifts for yourself. But in addition to being able to create little wish lists or bookmarks of items like Pinterest, you're also able to view coupon codes and get cash back, kind of like a credit card rewards program, only without the credit card, without the credit check, and all you really have to do is enjoy the points. If you do shop from select stores, you can get cash back on PayPal. And if you're looking to get items for yourself or others, it's a really good way to organize things so that you can see what you actually need, in addition to being notified about when they go on sale. If you would like to be notified about when skincare goes on sale, either for Black Friday or Cyber Monday, or just because you want holiday cheer on your face all times of the year, I would recommend downloading it both on your computer and on your phone so that they can sync up, but you can view your wish lists at any time, and you can get notified when they go on sale. And for me, I've not only enjoyed this service, but I'm happy to be able to recommend something to you that is completely free. That is not even something they've asked me to mention. It's just something that I think is important. Like, my cat 
not dying when she climbs the Christmas tree and topples it over because she's a whopping 25 pounds. The link is right below. You can install it while watching this YouTube video. And speaking of that, let's talk about skincare items that are and are not offensive. So first off, we have to address the Rudolph in the room acne. Being an acne sufferer turned acne warrior myself, I not only love skincare, but I understand how offensive it can be when someone tries to give me skincare advice. Because Megan thinks that washing her face with dishwasher soap is the cure to my acne. I think not, Megan. I have but tried everything. So that brings us to our first gifts, acne products. Are these offensive or non-offensive? How would you feel if you woke up with Proactive in your stockings? As much as you and I might love to receive these, especially these amazing Mighty Pimple Patches, this is an offensive skincare gift to give if someone did not specifically put it on their wish list, or it's not your best friend who you literally, you know, pop pimples with, which I hope that you're not doing. You shouldn't do that. Stop doing it. But a non-offensive way to give some acne products is through a gift set. Do you see how when these are just acne products just thrown together, they can seem a little bit offensive or not thought out? Yet when you put something in a little skincare set, this all of a sudden feels thoughtful and personal and, uh, and upside down, apparently. And again, if you're talking to skincare nerds who understand the value of products, people like us don't care. But if you are shopping for other people who are more acquaintances, or if you're making recommendations for someone who has asked you for help, a skincare acne set is definitely the safer way to go. Now what about a nice gift from one of the internet's favorite brands, and also one of my personal pride and joys, The Ordinary? Is this a good skincare gift? For you and I, yes. For just about anyone else, no. As amazing as The Ordinary is, the way they are packaged and the price point that they are at makes them look cheap. If someone doesn't know and study skincare, they do not know the magnificent cosmetic chemistry that is packed into each one of these little vials. And when giving this to someone who doesn't know better, they could look at this, see that it's like $6, and be like, oh, okay, like I, I see what I'm worth to you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. <laughs> And outside of intention, the lasting impact this can have is making someone else feel less worthy and making you look cheap. So what is the solution? Something like a skincare set. Both The Ordinary and Inky Lists have different skincare sets at different price points, some at around $20, some that are a little bit more. And again, whenever you package something in a set like this, it seems thought out, it seems put together. And this is still relatively inexpensive, but still a really presentable and nice gift that you can give to someone else or you can recommend. CBD is a very popular ingredient that we are seeing in skincare, and while it is great for skin, is this offensive or not offensive? This, my friend, again depends on who you are giving it to and whether or not you live in San Francisco, California, like me. But in general, I would say steer clear of this 50 something dollar cream because it has special spinach leaves on the side of it. As you can probably guess, some of these images can evoke different feelings in different people. And again, if you're giving this to your best friend who you know and understand, go for it. But if you're making a recommendation to someone who's an acquaintance, maybe someone that you work with, maybe someone who's a little Little bit more than a stranger, you don't want to be giving them a product that has the marijuanis on it. A really quick and non-offensive way to fix that is to get products that have CBD in them but that are not labeled, you know, with blatant chlorophyllic imagery. <laughs> Chlorophyllic, is that how we're doing it? St stativic? Indicitic? I don't know, someone help me with words. <laughs> there are different hemp products from different brands that you can put together, like this one from the Inky List or some from Truly Beauty. And speaking of, Truly Beauty has a lot of great CBD infused products that are actually really fun, really excellent to give, and a little bit cheeky without being too much in your face. Look for those symbols and make sure that you're not giving this to someone who would be offended by them, because this could be an offensive skincare gift. You don't wanna give this to your six year old niece in front of your auntie. But that's why I'm happy to share workarounds. <laughs> And how about these? Everybody loves makeup, right? What a fun stocking stuffer. Foundation. This is basically telling someone that they look ugly. Don't get me wrong, I love makeup. And if you're shopping for someone else who does, they will obviously appreciate this too. But if you're giving this to someone who you don't really know, this just screams offensive. This says, hi, your face is ugly and this product will make it more tolerable. Especially considering foundation is like one of the hardest makeup items to shop for. Like I can't even get my own foundation shade right and I have to blend and color correct and God forbid I don't remember to match 
scratch my neck. It's nearly impossible. So no, foundation is not a good skincare and makeup gift, and you should not go down this route. If you are looking to give makeup something like an eyeshadow palette, a cheek palette, or again, another cute little set is an amazing way to go. This is an excellent one that has a variation of lip and eye products, especially with quarantine. If people are wearing face masks, I think that eye products are always a good way to go. And you can get someone a new color that maybe they didn't think of before. This again promotes creativity. It's a really nice gift to give, but it doesn't say you're ugly, cover up. It says get creative and enhance you because I like what you're doing with your face. <laughs> and let's say that money is not an object for you. You want to get someone a little something nice. Products like these, are they offensive or non-offensive? Luxury skincare, you and I know, can often be a little bit overpriced. You don't need to pay $400 for a cream to make sure that you are preventing transepidermal water loss. However, a general consumer or someone who is not a skin intellectual like you are might not know that. And some people really do appreciate getting a $100 plus cream. And if you are in the financial position to do that to someone else, should you get them a product like this? Yes and no, because it depends on what it says. If it says anti-aging, if it says anti-wrinkle cream, if it says anti-fine lines and crow's feet, you might as well just walk up to them and tell them that you think their face is saggy. As amazing as an ice cream is, that can be really offensive. And because we don't know how other people internalize things with their own internal thoughts, feelings, insecurities, and inner narrator who maybe isn't nice to them 100% of the time, because trust me, mine is not, you don't want to get them a cream that insinuates they don't look their best. That's why instead of buying a cream that says anti-wrinkle or anti-aging, you should look for something that says collagen boosting, that says firming, that says lifting or defending. This is a really good line called Nuria, the brand actually benefits young girls' education, and the cool thing about this is that the line is called Defend. So it's not called anti-acne or anti-aging or anti-wrinkle, it is the Defend line. And giving a gift like this to someone who's not your best friend or a fellow skincare addict is a really great way to get a nice, reputable gift without telling someone that Gravity had a really fun time with their face. Always remember to read those packages because you and I know to turn and learn to get familiar with our ingredients lists and the actives within them. However, remember, most people do just read the front, and if it says something that could be seen as offensive in any way, it's best to avoid it and go for something that doesn't do that instead. And again, seeing as we've been in quarantine, some people may not have had the options to go to their dermatologist for elective procedures. Maybe they're not going to a med spa, a basic esthetician, or a spa to get their skincare needs met. Tools at home can be really good if you get the right ones, because there are a lot of scammy ones, and you bet your bottom I've been trying some to figure out which ones are and aren't worth the money. But until that video comes out, there are a few that I would recommend, but remember to always read those labels first, because if you give someone who is not your mom, your best friend, or someone who knows skincare, something that says light stim for wrinkles, do you see how even though this is $200, $300, this could really offend your boss or, you know, your in-laws? Light Stim for Acne and Light Stim for Wrinkles are two amazing devices that I feel do work very well comparably to what is done in professional clinics. And I would personally be so grateful if someone spent $169 or $200 on one of these for me. But again, we are educated skincare consumers here, and most people who see Light Stim for Wrinkles will be like, oh, geez, thanks. Thanks a lot. That is why I would recommend something that's more like the New Face Microcurrent Machine or the Rebecca Tech Nebulift. This one is radio frequency and this one is microcurrent. Both can help to lift the face to give a really nice sensorial skincare experience, but they're not telling people that they have wrinkles or acne or blemishes in their marketing, which, you know, makes it easier to give gifts and is probably better for our mental health and well being and societal expectations of beauty overall. And of course, there are other gift options such as body care. I would personally definitely definitely recommend a body wash over a deodorant. Like, you don't want to go up to someone and basically tell them that they stink. But even if you're on a budget, you can put together a really nice little gift with a shower gel, something like this. It's the aloe vera wash from Holica Holica. It's like $8 for a K-Beauty line, as well as something like a pillowcase and a little eye mask or even a pair of fuzzy slippers. Because honestly, especially in quarantine, who wouldn't appreciate a bathrobe and fuzzy slippers? Overall, we should be grateful that we are in a position to give gifts and receive gifts, especially considering everything else that is happening in the world. But you and I both know that people can take things sensitively. And when we give those gifts, 
gifts, we want them to be as received as well as we intend them to. If you know someone who is struggling to get a gift, please send them this video so that you can save them some turmoil and some hair pulling because yes, did you know that we are seeing an increased number of patients complaining of hair loss? This is thought to be from anxiety surrounding the pandemic. Yup, and look, just by clicking the share button, you can contribute to lowering someone's holiday anxiety and stress. Good job. <laughs> Let's also do each other a favor, post a comment down below of a gift you are thinking of getting for somebody else, and let's have other people comment on them to see if they are or are not offensive. This can be a fun little game. Get your like buttons out and let's get going. <laughs> the links to everything I've mentioned are in the description in case you find that helpful, and as always, please remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you guys, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.